Good evening folks, welcome back to another Prepared 3D video. Hope you all are doing well, I know it's been uh, a little bit here. Been quite busy with work, so I haven't been able to fly here for the last uh, two weeks. Um, but I am back now from another work trip. I actually just got back from uh, Las Vegas this weekend. I'm doing some things out there for work, which is what has uh, inspired this flight this evening. So we are on our descent into Burbank, Burbank Airport, located in Southern California. For those of you that do not know, uh, it's located in Hollywood, uh, just about northeast of the Los Angeles International Airport. Um, so we are uh, mimicking the flight that I was on actually earlier this morning. So Southwest 4416 out of Las Vegas for Burbank. Uh, we are in the PMDG 737, obviously. Uh, let me jump in here and dial in a lower altitude, as I just heard our horn go off. We'll dial in uh, 15,000 now. Uh, we're descending via the Jani 5 arrival into Burbank this evening. Uh, so here is our routing out of Los Angeles. Uh, we just passed uh, John. Uh, we're going to come in and expect the uh, RNAV runway 8 or Yankee uh, 8 approach into Burbank. Pretty short runway. Uh, we've got to worry about terrain. Um, the short runway. Um, and it was uh, a little bumpy when I departed out of here earlier to, uh, to Vegas. So. Uh, those are real, uh, really our only concerns for this arrival this evening. Um, into Burbank. Uh, we're parking A7. So we'll vacate. Uh, we're coming in when we eight. We'll vacate at the end, obviously, and park uh, Alpha 7. really doesn't even give me enough time to uh, fire up the APU, but we'll see. So that is uh, the plan for us this evening. Let's go ahead and get the latest weather at Burbank. So we're looking at winds 190 at 7. So a bit of a crosswind, which is not unusual, uh, landing in a Burbank. Uh, 27 degrees Celsius, all temperature 2, 9, or 8, 6. And uh, flight conditions are looking good, VMC. Uh, generally at this time of the evening, uh, especially over at LAX, uh, uh, the ceilings can get quite low. Uh, it looks like we'll be, uh, we'll be okay for our arrival this evening into Burbank. Uh, we are on Vatsim. Uh, even though I keep losing uh, internet connection for some reason. Uh, the internet's very spotty today. Uh, so I keep getting kicked off. Uh, no other traffic coming into Burbank this evening. At least not on that end. So that looks good. Right, we're getting ready to cross our transi uh, transition altitude to 18,000. So uh, let's make sure we got everything ready for uh, the remainder of our arrival. So we are going to go auto brake 2. We may even need auto brake 3 uh, here at Burbank. Again, pretty short runway. And if you've ever flown into it, uh, it's really about getting her down and getting her stopped. Uh, we'll make these uh, engine mode selectors too continuous. Got our landing altitude dialed in. That looks good. Uh, what else here? Recall. That looks good. Transition. Get 13,000 dialed in here now. And other than that, we're looking good. 25 uh, minutes on the clock so far out of Vegas. 
Very quick flight. And in the meantime, we can admire some lovely Orbix, Southern California scenery. If I was thinking, I would have done the, uh, we could have actually recorded the entire flight. Again, it's pretty short, but I was not going, I was not planning to record today. It was kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing. I just wanted to, uh, get back into sim and get flying here after it's, uh, been about a week and a half. Profile looks good. Went across uh, Papa Mike Delta, which is the Palmdale VOR, at or, uh, below 13,000 rather. And I did forget the seatbelt signs. Oh, we're not using FS2 crew this evening. Um, again, this was really just a just a quick flight for me to just get up in the air and get some sim time in. Didn't feel like bothering with FS2 crew, so we are solo flying this evening. Lovely uh, Southern California sunset, summer sunset. Man, oh man, I cannot wait for them, uh, them being PMDG to update this aircraft. It's going to be something. No timetable yet, uh, but I know they are working on it. I believe a uh, re rework of the exterior and interior textures. Uh, I think some system improvements. Although this is probably uh, one of the most solid aircrafts in the sim and has been, uh, gosh, for at least the last 8 to uh, 10 years. Uh, again, we are in VNAV. Descent. I'm actually gonna. Uh, I'll take over here now. We'll go vertical speed. And Chani at eight thousand.
I've got about 50 miles to the airport, which uh, should be right over these mountains here, right behind these mountains. And uh, generally, if air traffic control was on, they would give us vectors after uh, Wabbit. Uh, we're on Unicom this evening, so uh, we'll have to just vector ourselves in. All good. Start bringing our speed back here now to 240. And that's uh, 10,000 for us. Get the landing lights on. Logo lights and the wing lights. Now we can uh, chime the cabin indicating final descent here. Beautiful evening to fly here. So uh, our airport is right behind these mountains here. And off to the distance down here you have uh, LAX out towards the ocean. Alright, let's start getting slower here. Reduce our speed. Let's make it at 220 now. And at Silex we want to be above at or above uh, 3700. Now there's a restriction there because um, you do have the Van Nuys Airport, small municipal airport uh, where aircrafts are uh, landing and taking off so uh, that is a reason for that restriction right there.
We'll take heading select now. Flaps one, speed checks, looks good. And actually I want my speed at 200 now. Coming back nicely. And that's our airport. Get the uh, terrain radar on here on the uh, first officer side just to make sure we're clearing these mountains. Fall is looking good. And we're going to take flaps five now. Alright, about 15 miles to the runway. I'm actually going to call final a little early here, even though it doesn't like we have anyone at Burbank. But just in case, we'll let Unicom know. Here's our runway, looking good. Twelve miles to go.
Alright, I uh, got about nine miles to go. And we are looking good. We'll go all visual here now, actually. My aircraft. Left 15 gear down. Looking good. All right, let me focus here now. Again, there's no messing around. Got to get her down and get her stopped. This approach altitude is 4,500 here. And I'm going to take control of the throttles as well. Alright. And this will actually be a flaps 40 landing. Um, again, we want to... Uh, Get as slow as possible here for this very short runway. Alright, four mile final landing checklist gear down, three greens, uh, flaps full. Checked. Auto brake level three, speed brake is on, all lights are on as well. And this is the wind I was talking about earlier. It's very windy here. whites to reds. Oh, come on, come on. A bit high here, we'll correct. Start to correct, back on profile. Trim her out a bit. Way too low, but we're visual, that's fine. Start to flare. Get her down, get her down, get her down. And then breaking. All good. Always a good time at Burbank. A7's our gate. Get that APU going. Can kill that. Kill that. 46 minutes. lights off now so we're not blinding anyone. And strobe steady. Go 
stand by. Got APU power. The so parking brakes and kill two, kill one. I can go see both signs are off. Packs can go, anti collision light off, wing lights off. Boarding. Let's get the doors opened up. And at Burbank, they do deboard um, both front and back. Yeah, that's about it, folks. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Burbank is again a really nice, uh, fun airport to fly into and out of. Uh, in real life as well so if you ever have the opportunity uh, do take it uh, Southwest goes here um, Spirit Airlines although I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend Spirit uh, I believe Frontier Alaska maybe American can't quite remember uh, but a whole host of airlines uh, it's a quick uh, in and out of uh, much easier to navigate uh, than uh, LAX uh, and for prepared 3d this is actually a freeware airport so um, and it's uh, not bad at all uh, when paired with uh, Orbix Southern California anyway that's enough blabbing for me thanks as always for watching take care and uh, until next time we'll see you bye